Fort Pierce police not providing any updates on Monday with regards to Saturday's shooting activity that left five people injured. I did have a chance to talk with a pastor at a nearby church who tells me that the incident happened down this block. There was, according to police, an open gathering when the gunshots rang out. Now on Sunday, some church leaders got together with the community and the mayor attended a meeting and I had a chance to talk with her today about moving forward. They set the ground rules. They're like, we're here to try to find solutions and to help our community and be accountable. Those are, what a great thing to say. Mayor Linda Hudson says she was there to listen and appreciated the sincerity of those who took time on a holiday weekend to meet up. Our police force, you know, has worked really hard and, but it's not a police problem only. It's a lot. It's a societal problem. The mayor adding a few bad actors can give the entire community a bad name. Lots of people are reaching out to help us. Among them, Sherelle Copas. She sought out the mayor at the city's Memorial Day event Monday to talk about a character building program she's developed. Born and raised here in Fort Pierce, and I know that we've had a problem with gun violence for a long time. Copa says her class is free and can be adjusted for all ages, teaching seven words, including honor, courage, commitment, and patriotism. Everybody comes from somewhere, and everybody has a character inside of them. We would like to see what character we can develop, and hopefully that will be a good one. Copas is the daughter of Artie Copas, who was killed in Vietnam and later given the Medal of Honor for his bravery. Like her father, she now hopes to help others in her own way. In Fort Pierce, John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5. And we're done here. Anybody who wants to come down to Post 40 on US 1 in Georgia, we'll have food down. So if you want to come on down, we'd love to have you all.